So hi guys, this is Varsha and you are watching Mastermind. So friends, in this session we are going to discuss the important questions from geography from the chapter Natural Vegetations and all these questions which we are going to provide you, these are important for your ICAC 2020 board examination. So please go through all these questions carefully. These are the questions which are mostly asked from this chapter of geography that is Natural Vegetations. And friends, telling you that you have to study any five chapters from your theory part properly for geography and you have to practice the map pointing and also the topography that is from your topo sheet. You have to practice carefully and you will be e easily able to score good marks in your geography that is above 90. So what you have to do, you have to study any five chapters from your geography properly in order to score good marks in your geography board examination because mind you, the theory part, there are a lot of options given. So you have to study any five chapters and yes, keep in mind that there is uh, there are also some of the chapters which are combined and given especially the chapters which are there at the last so you have to exclude those chapters or if you want to study that chapters so you will have to study more than five chapters so keep this thing in mind so without wasting much of our time let us begin with the questions so moving on to the first question the first question is name the forest which is commercially most important in india so this is one of the most important questions is it is repeated most of the time in your board examination from natural vegetation so the forest which is commercially most valuable in india it is tropical deciduous forest it is tropical deciduous forest Now the next question is question number two. You have to give two reasons why tropical evergreen forests are difficult to exploit. So this is again repeated most of the time in your board examination. So the two reasons why tropical evergreen forests, they are difficult to exploit. It is, the first reason is, it is very dense. So it is very dense. This is the first reason tropical evergreen forests, they are very dense. And second is, they are not they are found in mixed strands. Mixed strands. They are found in mixed strands. So this is another reason why they are difficult to exploit. There are two reasons which is important. First is they are very dense. And the second reason is that they are difficult to exploit because they are found in mixed strands. So friends, now moving ahead to question number three, you have to differentiate between afforestation and deforestation and you also have to state a disadvantage of deforestation. So this is again repeated many of the times and this answer you can write it on your own also, it is easy. So you have to differentiate between afforestation and deforestation. So afforestation is, afforestation is planting Afforestation is planting or growing of trees where there are no trees. Afforestation, it is the process of planting or growing of trees where there are no trees. On the other hand, deforestation, it means the cutting down of the trees. So you have to write deforestation. Deforestation. means the cutting of trees for various purposes for various purposes now you also have to give a disadvantage of deforestation so friends one major disadvantage of deforestation is that it increases soil erosion so you have to write the disadvantage is it increases soil erosion. So this is the reason. This is the disadvantage. Now moving on to the next question. This is again very important and most of the time it is repeated from natural vegetation chapter in your geography. So the question is give one use of each of the following trees. So you have to give the use of sandalwood. So what is the use of sandalwood? So friends it is used for making handicrafts. Sandalwood is used for making handicrafts. Used for making handicrafts. And you can also write that sandalwood oil is used as an antiseptic. So you can write any. Now the next one is sundari. So one important use of sundari trees is that the woods of sundari trees, they are used for ma making boats. So they are used for making boats.
Now the next is rosewood. So rosewood, they are used for making expensive furnitures. So they are used for making expensive furnitures. So this is the use of the trees. Now moving on to the next question that is question number 5. It is which forest is commercially most valuable and why? So we have discussed this in question number 1 only which is the most commercially valuable forest. It is tropical deciduous forest. So this is the commercially most valuable forest and you also have to give reason why. So firstly the question, the answer is tropical deciduous forest. And now why you have to give reason. So the first reason you can give two reasons. So first reason is that they are not very dense. They are not very dense. And therefore and therefore easily accessible. It is C. And another reason is that they are found in pure stands. They are found in pure stands. Now moving on to the next question that is question number 6. You have to give two characteristics of tidal forest and tidal forest it is also called mangrove forest. So you must keep in mind it is also called mangrove forest. So the two characteristics of tidal forest or mangrove forest it is they can grow in salty water. This is one of the most important characteristic. They can grow in salty water. And they grow in marshy areas especially. And another characteristic is that their trunks Their trunks are supported by stilt roots, by stilt like roots. So these are the two characteristics. Now moving on to question number 7. So question number 7 is name the natural vegetation which is found in windward, windward slope of western ghats. So the natural vegetation which is found in windward slope of western guards. This is one of the most important question in your board examination. Most of the time it is repeated. So the natural vegetation which is found in windward slope of western guards. It is tropical evergreen forest. Tropical evergreen forest. So friends, these are the important questions. These are the questions which are mostly asked in your board examination. And it is repeated every year from this chapter that is natural vegetation. And friends, if you want the PDF of this, then you are going to get it in the description box of this video. So if you want the PDF, you can download it from there. So friends, this was the video. That's all for today. And besides this, if you have any doubts or queries related to your board examinations or regarding any of the answers, so you can write to us in the comment section. So friends, this was the video. Thanks for watching this video. And if you like this video, then please do give the thumbs up button. And subscribe our channel, Mastermind. Thank you.